So, uh, blockchain technology uh, essentially uh, is what enables this entire uh, transaction ledger to be secure. You know? So, essentially, what happens is let's say, let's look at how the transaction goes through. When I send one Bitcoin from my wallet to your wallet, uh, in simple terms, what happens is this transaction is broadcast to the entire network of miners. Who are miners? Miners are people who are running large hardware, uh, specialized hardware uh, in various parts of the world. Uh, this hardware solves mathematical puzzles. And these puzzles, when they are solved, uh, they get a reward in terms of newly created Bitcoin. And while solving these puzzles, they also process the transaction. Now, let's look at how this transaction is processed. Every 10 minutes, uh, there is a block generated on Bitcoin's blockchain that contains a list of transactions that have been processed. Now, this block is entire list of transactions and it is attached to the previous block and the next block. So what happens is you cannot just change this transaction without affecting everything else. So this blockchain becomes what we call immutable. Immutable means once I send you my Bitcoin, you cannot reverse that transaction. Right. You can send Bitcoin back to me, but you cannot reverse the transaction like we do with our credit cards or banking accounts. Right? Let's say someone gets into my bank account and steals money. The bank can still reverse it. Why? Because bank is a centralized authority dealing with my money out there. Bitcoin doesn't have a CEO, no company, no jurisdiction. Right? So this is handled in a decentralized manner by miners that are spread across the world. And that's why it is called blockchain because it is chain of blocks. Now you can take this concept and you can apply this to various use cases. And that's how the entire crypto industry is born to decentralize any kind of value transfer.